guys thanks for coming back here to redneck city slicker builds want to give you guys a quick update video of what's been going on here in the garage uh, finally got the swing arm completely fabricated and under the tractor cooler with the uh, rear shock so I wanted to give you a quick walkthrough video of what I did here so you can see what's been going on so let's do a quick walk around video here so you can see it she's finally sitting on all fours all by herself uh, no supports has four tires under it um, and just about ready to go finally um, so here's the swing arm that I finally finished the fabrication on it's basically in an H pattern with a little bit of an angle where it's skinnier in the front as you can see there and a little bit wider here in the rear um, the reason I did that was to help uh, displace the weight so I don't get too much axle sag here uh, the way I fabricated my shock mounts here is with 2x2 two two square tubing, cut it into an L shape. And then I also went to the metal shop, picked up this metal here. This is just 1x2 inch um, tubing that I picked up. I'd say it's probably 16 gauge. Cut it at 20 degree angles and then drilled a hole right in the center for my uh, bolts to go through to hold the shocks. Then up here, I put this 1x1 uh, square tubing on so that when it gets pressure on the shocks that it doesn't want to shove up here since there's so much pressure that's going to be at this point versus being closer to the frame um, so this way it just keeps everything nice and in place so it doesn't flex up like that um, so just want to give you guys a quick update video um, what I'm thinking about doing next as you can see now I need to figure out by making a clutch for this and then um, some shift linkage so those will probably be the next videos that you guys see coming up so uh, in the comments tell me what you guys think let me know if you guys like what's going on or if you think of some ideas to make this thing cooler uh, just let me know all right thanks